I'm a diamond in the rock. Yeah. 24 kind VVs in the stars. Yeah. Rings going off like Michael with the club. Yeah. Only one model with designers in the thugs. When we shop at Rick on, bring a bottle full of Couple platinum records later, still I got the game locked. Come on, lines, flash it then, Tory Lane's pop. Who got his swerve in his best in every raindrop? Hit him with the the nigga, they brain swap. Walk around like I'm nigga with the diamonds in the clock. You walking on these I got diamonds in my sock. Might be funny like I'm Biggie, but I'm riding like I'm pop. I'm the king of your city, give a f about your block. Lights on, lights off. Go on, trick it if you know that song. Deep dive and I get lost. Go on, turn up if you know that you the boss. Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Niners and the Chiefs, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Kansas City Chiefs. Taking on the NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. But Charles, we don't like to throw around the word dynasty loosely, but for the Chiefs, it applies. I mean, they're looking for their third title now in five years. And with the way this league is configured now, it absolutely applies. I think you're totally on target. Remember, they lost a the Super Bowl in there too. So to be back for the fourth time in five years, in today's NFL, that's pretty incredible. Meanwhile, for the 49ers, they were one of the heavy favorites to win the NFC, and they were able to get it done, and now they look for that elusive sixth Super Bowl title. And remember, after going 5-0 in their first five appearances here, they've lost two straight, Super Bowl 47 to the Ravens in New Orleans and Super Bowl 54 to Kansas City in Miami. They'd love to start another streak like they had in the 80s when they won four Super Bowl titles. Returning from his end zone is Ray Ray McLeod. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. So here's the first drive now for the 49ers. Leading them out, someone who took the league by storm last year is the most famous Mr. Irrelevant ever from Iowa State. It's Brock Purdy. And there are a lot of quarterbacks who had terrific careers. Think about guys like Phillip Rivers, Randall Cunningham, Dan Fouts, Warren Moon. But they never got to a Super Bowl. Yet here he is in his second NFL season, already getting his chance. And we harken back to Dan Marino, another superstar, made it in his second year, lost the game, and never made it back again. And that is the kind of tackling they want to see all game as he'll lose yardage to start things out. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. A first down there on a pickup of 25. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They go play action here, Purdy. That's complete, it's Brandon Ayuk. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Big gains in succession. Last one was over 20, this one over 30. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl. Well, they got a great answer right there. And almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten.
Shotgun now with Purdy. This pass to Jennings, and he makes a catch. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be set. Charles, you, you think about their impressive record, and then you look on the screen and see some of these injuries. That makes what they've done all that more impressive. And when one of their starters or one of their key guys can't play, they miss him, but they just say, get well. We'll hold the fort until you get back, and the next person steps up into that void. This team has done a nice job all year long. No excuses, just performance. Only able to gain a couple there, and it brings up third and five now. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Purdy from the gun on third down. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And the 49ers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Uh, that's a big conversion there on third down, and this has been a great opening drive. You know, at this point, they'd hate to settle for three, but they've created a fresh set of downs and a first and goal. A chance for the first score of this Super Bowl. Here's first and goal. Once more, Purdy looking to throw. Another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that'll make it second and goal. And they're getting him involved early. You feel like they saw something on tape, or they just have a sense with him because he's had a good week of practice or something in that area. But they want him involved, just as you said. They want him to touch it either in the running game or the passing game, but they must like the matchups they're getting. A second down throw for Purdy. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. A big one here early in this Super Bowl. It's third and goal. Purdy looking to throw. Just shy of the five at the six. That's going to bring up fourth down. Only a gain of two there. Yeah, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. So Purdy off and Moody on for the 49er field goal. From the right hash, and this one just a chipping. And the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. They pass up the three, fake it. It doesn't work. And this defense holds firm here on the opening drive of the night. Time to see what Patrick Mahomes can do here with his first possession. The quarterback out of Texas Tech getting set to lead this KC Chiefs offense. And no doubt he's living out a dream right now. He's had dating back to his first days of playing football as a kid. But he certainly can't get lost in the moment right now. There's still a Super Bowl to be played. And his offense, they're looking to him to be their leader. You can take it all in when it's over. Right now, you've got the biggest game of your life to win. Here's Pacheco to begin the drive. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. The success there, Charles, coming on the outside of the field, the ground game. Curious to see if that continues as we progress. Yeah, we often talk about a variety in play calling and usually between run and pass. But in this case, with strictly the run game, you can be creative there as well. Run it inside, run it outside, keep the defense off balance. Mahomes to MVS there for the Kansas City first. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. 
Mahomes now on first down. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And he will bring this one back. It's a fumble return for the 49er touchdown. And on the grandest of stages, with a whole world watching the Super Bowl, they come out and get the first points. I don't know how you feel about Brandon, but for me, watching the beginning of the Super Bowl, I've often wondered how come it's not just a fumble fest? How come the ball's not all over the place? The nerves, the interim in between of the two weeks waiting for the game. But this team came out and handled it just like it was a regular season walk in the park. Terrific start. Jake Moody now for the point after. And the 49ers grab a 7-0 lead. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. Here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Hardman, he is not going to bring this out, so they will start the drive at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and 10. They'll start the drive here with Pacheco. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 7-0 is our score. The NFL on EA Sports continues right after this message. And we are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon Gunn, Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. play got just a yard here second and nine from the 26 shotgun snap to Mahomes open man is Ross complete and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 his first catch of this Super Bowl and it'll be good for a first down I tell you what if this is any quarterback other than Patrick Mahomes I'm telling you how this is an ill-advised throw but 15 is so good on the move with all those different arm angles and releases that all I'm saying now is that's a gorgeous play. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. From the gun, it's Mahomes. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. I wonder, Brandon, I just wonder, you think maybe he was worried about where he was on the field? Was he far enough? Was he close enough to the first down sticks? Absolutely. He was right there by him, and I think he was thinking first down before he caught that football. Yeah, got to catch it first, because if you don't catch it, there's no chance of picking up a first down. Taken in at the 11. So a good punt there, but a nice return of 11 yards. And the Niners are going on offense. First and 10. San Francisco set to go on offense once more. Here's Purdy on first and 10. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Now Purdy. That's caught out right by Jennings. 
His second catch of the Super Bowl, and it's good enough for a first down. You look at this Super Bowl, the second appearance for this head coach. The first one did not go as planned, as we all know, but what do you think he's learned from that first go around? He learned how much it hurts to lose, and that's what you hear from coaches so often. They don't remember the wins as much as they remember the losses. You can talk about the media, the scrutiny, the hoopla, but once you've had to shake a head coach's hand and jog off the field and know you have to face the media, face your fans, face your home life, knowing that you've lost the Super Bowl, that hurts big time, and you're going to do everything possible to try and prevent that from happening again. Purdy will look to throw again here. This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. Well, he certainly thought he had a window to push that ball downfield, but as soon as he released the throw, the corner was there to slam that window shut. Purdy from the gun. He'll fire this deep for Ayuk. Oh, he had a man running free, but he overshot him, and it's incomplete. Looked like they were set up defensively in a zone coverage, but somehow they found a seam because that receiver all alone by rights, that should have been a touchdown, but somehow this ball's overthrown. So on fourth down, here's the Australian native Mitch Wisnowski to punt this one away. And how about this, a fake? And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. A throw right side taken in by the tight end Gray. So he stopped for no gain. And that'll make it second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch. But even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss. But that window closed quickly. Well, Mahomes can't get away. And down he goes. Chase Young. Showing his strength and quickness there, a loss of four. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you're doing a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. His first catch of this Super Bowl, and it'll be good for a first down. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles. And that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Being chased out left, and he'll just get rid of it. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. So on fourth down, Mahomes off, Harrison Butker on for the Chiefs field goal. On the left hash, this from 48 yards. Butker's kick here is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. 
They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And San Francisco gets set to go here. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at a first down. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive were answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Purdy will set up to throw it here. This is Jennings. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Purdy. Flush to his right. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. So we've reached halftime here in the Super Bowl as we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. What a season this has been. Hard to believe it ends tonight as we'll get back to you guys for the second half of this Super Bowl in just a moment. It's been a tremendous season from beginning to end. And now we'll play one half of football to decide who raises the Lombardi Trophy. And for the call, Let's get it right back to Brandon and Charles. Both teams making their final adjustments of the season during this long halftime break. Who will claim the Lombardi Trophy? To find out, we go back to Brandon and Charles in Vegas for the second half of Super Bowl 58. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third